we're again going to be looking at a basic arithmetic law. Watch the previous two videos in the playlist first. Let's have a look at the distributive law. What we're going to do here, we're going to take this example, where 3 is going to multiply the sum of 4 and 5. Over here in blue, I'm going to work out the answer, and we can see it's 27. Now I'm going to multiply the 3 by the 4, bring down that plus sign, and then multiply the 3 by the 5. And if I work on the result here, you can see that in fact we get 27. And we've done the multiplication from the left, as you can see. And we can now see that the 27 and the 27 are the same. So what we can say with certainty is that this step and this step are correct. And the reason they're correct is they give us the right answer. Let's look at another example. The sum of 3 and 4 is multiplied by 5. Over here in blue, let's work out the answer. That's 7 times 5, so we can see it's 35. Now here I'm going to multiply the 3 by the 5 bring down the plus, and then I'm going to multiply the 4 by the 5. Then if we work on the answer, that's 15, this is 20, and we get 35. So we can see we've done the multiplication on this occasion from the right. And we can see that we get 35, which are the same, which means that this step here, multiplying from the right and this one, they're correct. So we can say having looked at both of these, that multiplication is distributed over addition from the left and the right. Let's look at another example. Here we're going to multiply 4 minus 5. So we're doing subtraction here. So we can see that we have this being a minus 1 multiplied by 3, giving us minus 3. Now if I take the 3 and multiply it by the 4, then take that minus sign down, and 3 times 5, this will give me 12, bring down the minus and this gives me 15, and we can see we get minus 3. So we can see that both of those give us the same result. Consequently, this step and this step here are correct. And we can see that we have done the operation from the left. Let's look at another example. Here I've got 3 minus 4 multiplied by 5. So in blue, let's do the answer. That's minus 1 times 5, which gives us minus 5. Now here I'm going to take the 3 and multiply by the 5, bring down that minus, and then the 5 multiplies the 4. And then this gives me 15, that gives me 20. Consequently, we can see we have minus 5. And we can see that these are the same. And we can there conclude that this is correct. And in fact, we've done this from the right. We've done the multiplication from the right. So we can say, multiplication is distributive over subtraction from left and the right. Here I got the sum of 60 plus 15 divided by 5. So if I do that over here, I can see I get 75 divided by 5, which gives us 50. Now if we have a look here, what you can see, I'm taking the 16 divided by 5, bringing the plus down. I'm taking the 15 and dividing that by 5. That gives me 12, this gives me 3, and I get the results of 15. So we can see, in fact, that these are the same. Now that goes to show that this is correct. And we can see that we've done that operation from the right. Let's do another example. Let's take 16. We'll divide that by the addition of 15 and 5. If we do that over here, we can see we end up with 60 divided by 20, which gives us 3. So now if I take the 60 and divide that by the 15, and I now take the 60 and I divide that by the 5, adding them together, we can see we end up with 4 plus 15 giving us 16. And we can see quite clearly that they are different. So something's gone awry here. And what we can say is that this particular step is wrong. So when we actually do this from the left, we end up with the wrong answer. Division is distributive over addition from 
the right, but not the left. Let's consider another example. 20 minus 10 divided by 5. Well, if we work that out over here in blue, we can see we end up with 2. Now, if I take the 20 and divide that by the 5, and then bring the minus down, then take the 10 and divide that by the 5, we can see we end up with 4 minus 2 to give us 2. Consequently, we can see that the answers here are the same. Now, what that means, it means that this step here, or these steps, I should say, are correct. And we've done that operation from the right. Let's have a look at another example. 20 is going to be divided by the difference between 10 and 5. If I work that out in blue over here, we can see we get the answer of 4. Now what I'm going to do here is say the 20 is divided by the 10, and then the 20 is divided by the 5, and we consequently end up with minus 2. So we can see that these two are in fact different. So again, something's gone awry here, and what we can say is this is wrong. You can't do the division in the way in which we've showed here. And if you look, we've done this from the left. So what we can say is division is distributive over subtraction from the right, but not from the left. So let's look at those steps again. Here I've got 3 multiplying the sum of 4 and 5, and I'm multiplying in that direction. So I have 3 times 4 plus 3 times 5. And we know these equal each other, so we know this is allowed, this kind of multiplication, because we can see we get the result of 27 in both cases. Now here I'm doing the multiplication in this direction here, and I know that's going to give me 3 times 5 plus 4 times 5, and I know it's going to give me the same result. We've already seen it in examples we've looked at, so we can see that they are the same. Now I'm going to multiply what is... Two numbers being subtracted, as you can see here. So I'm multiplying in that direction. So I get 3 times 4 minus 3 times 5. And when I work out each of those, we can see that indeed they are the same. So if I come up here, and I now multiply by 5 in this direction, where there's a minus sign in the brackets, I end up as 3 times 5 minus 4 times 5. And when we work on each, we can see we get the same answer of minus 5 in this particular case. Multiplication, therefore, is distributive over addition and subtraction. And the key is from both the left and the right. And there's the left direction, there's the right direction, there's the left direction, there's the right direction. And we can see that the way in which we've done those multiplications works. Let's have a look at this example. 60 plus 15 is divided by 5. So I'm going to do the division in this direction here. So I have 60 divided by 5 added to 15 divided by 5. And if I perform the workings out on either side of the equal sign, we can see that they both give us 15. They're both the same. I'm going to do another example here. This time I'm going to take 60. I'm going to divide that by 15 plus 5 in brackets. Now that is not equal to the following. In other words, we cannot do the division in this direction. So if I work it out here, we get that to be 3, and we get this to be 16. And we can see, in fact, that they are different. Let's have a look at another example. Here I've got 10 minus 5, all being divided by 5. So I'm going to do the division in that direction. So 20 divided by 5 minus 10 divided by 5. If we work out both sides of the main equal sign, we can see that these two are in fact the same. So we can see that division going from the right gives us the right answer. We're allowed to do this one. Let's have a look at this example. 20 is divided by the difference between 10 and 5. Now that's not equal if we divide in this direction to the following. 20 divided by 10 minus 20 divided by 5. To convince ourselves by that, let's work out either side of the not equal sign. And we can see that we end up with 4 and minus 2. Now they are clearly different. 
So when the division is in this direction, the right, we can see that we're allowed this, it's equal to. When it's in the left, they're not equal to, as you can see. When I go to the right, I end up with an equal sign here, and when I go to the left, I end up with a not equal sign there. Therefore, division is distributive over addition and subtraction from the right, but not the left. This video and the previous two videos in the playlist have been looking at arithmetic laws, and you may be quite rightly wondering, why are we bothering with these laws? For example, if I have a look at this one here, why would I want to expand it to this one? Because surely it is much easier simply to have 75 divided by 5 equals 15. Well, the answer is yes, it is. But the thing is, these rules really come into their own when you move over to algebra. Because, of course, you'll have A's and B's and C's and X and Y's and Z's. And then you will need to know how you go from one kind of representation to another. Because you won't be easily be able to add them up the quick way. Because, of course, you won't know what A, B and C is, or X, Y and Z. Of course, algebra is all about finding out what they are and manipulating them in particular ways. But these arithmetic laws you will find become useful when you do algebra. <laughs>